I will tell you what changed my own life on investing. I started investing when I was 11. I first started reading about it. I believe in reading everything in sight. And I and, uh, uh, first started reading about it when I was probably six or seven years old. But for, se for about eight years, I wandered around with technical analysis and doing all kinds of things. And then I read a book called The Intelligent Investor. And uh, I did that when I was 19 down at the University of Nebraska. And I would say that if you absorb the lessons of the intelligent investor, mainly in, I wrote a foreword and I recommended particularly chapters eight and 20, that uh, you will not behave like a lemming and uh, you may do very well compared to the lemmings. There's three big lessons in there which relate to your attitude toward stocks generally, which is that you think of them as parts of a business and your attitude toward the market, which is that you use it uh, to serve you and not to instruct you, and then the idea of a margin of safety of always leaving some extra room in things. Charlie and I haven't the faintest idea where the stock market is going to go next week, next month, or next year. We never talk about it. You know, it never comes up. I, our directors will tell you that, that they've never been to a director's meeting where the subject of the direction of the stock market is. We are not in that business. We don't know how to be in that business. Uh, obviously, if we could guess successfully a high percentage of the time where the stock market was going to go, we would do nothing but play the S&P futures market where there wouldn't be any reason to look at businesses and stocks. So it's just not our game. We don't think, what we see when we look at uh, the stock market is we see thousands and thousands and thousands of companies priced every day and we ignore 99.9% .9 of what we see, although we run our eyes over them. And then every now and then we see something that uh, looks like it's attractively priced to us as a business. Forget about the word stock. So uh, when we buy a stock, we would be happy with that stock if they told us the market was going to close for a couple of years. You know, we look to the business. It's exactly the same way as if you were going to buy a farm a few miles here outside of Omaha. You would not get a price on it every day, and you wouldn't ask you know, whether the uh, the yield was a little above expectation this year, down a little bit. You'd look at what the farm was going to produce over time. You'd look at the expected yields, you'd look at expected prices, the cost, taxes, the cost of fertilizer, and you would evaluate the intelligence of your purchase based on what the farm produced relative to your purchase price. Uh, quotes would have nothing to do with it. That's exactly the way we look at, at, at stocks. We look at them as businesses. We make judgments about what the futures of those businesses will be, and if we're right about that in those judgments, the stocks will take care of themselves. Charlie? Uh, no, nothing to add. Mm. He's been practicing for weeks. Uh, <laughs>